right, am I the only one to really think this? When I hear a movie's going to Netflix, honestly, I'm instantly disappointed because a lot of Netflix movies are really bad. Netflix original movies, not the movies that Netflix goes and buys and releases on Netflix. No, 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 those don't count. I'm talking about Netflix original movies. I cannot remember the last time or ever I've seen one Netflix original movie be amazing. Can you tell me one? We Have a Ghost stars David Harper and Anthony Mackie and is about finding a ghost named Ernest haunting their new home turns Kevin's family into an overnight social media sensation. But when Kevin and Ernest investigate the mystery of Ernest's past, they become a target of the CIA. Written and directed by Christopher Landon, who brought us both Happy Death Day movies, really entertaining movies, I honestly would love to see a third one, and a really underrated movie called Freaky that came out in 2020. These movies are honestly all entertaining, and I'm pretty sure he wrote one or a couple of the Paranormal Activity movies, so everything he's made, I've basically liked, honestly. And when I heard this movie with David Harper, Anthony Mackie, Ghost House movie, I was in. And then I found out it was PG-13, I saw the trailer, and I was like, okay, okay, this it's a little different, but we'll see. I, I trust Christopher Landon. And with that said, my biggest positive is Christopher Landon's writing and directing. And I'll say this right now. It's not my favorite movie that he's ever made. It's probably my least favorite out of everything I've seen from him. But this movie knows what it's wanting to be, and I would say it's a good family movie. Honestly, I didn't expect that. I thought this movie would be a little more edgy, which there are some jokes in there, a lot of physical comedy that I actually did laugh at and enjoy. But the thing is, this movie is family oriented. It really is. And I think anyone that has family or kids, you could watch this movie and be entertained. There might be a few creepy images that David Harper does in a certain scene that might be scary or just the ghost-like feel suspense scenes. But in the end, this movie has a great tone and a great like family dynamic because Anthony Mackie and his family are moving into this house and he's been through some stuff and he's a really interesting character as his dad. And then once they find out about David Harper being a ghost in the house, He's instantly all over that. He's trying to get famous. And then, just like E.T., the government and this one, the CIA ghost hunters, are coming after him. And then you got all this big action in the third act. And the movie's cliche. It, it is. It, it is E.T. I could 100% see people comparing it to E.T. I, I can see how people might hate this movie over it being a rehash of E.T. But... It, honestly, those kind of movies usually work because of like younger actors. I think the kids in this movie were really good. And when they're playing or hanging out with David Harper, who is also mute, by the way, he does not talk in this movie, which I actually thought kind of sucked because I love David Harper. And in this movie, he's just, he's mute, but he does a lot of physical comedy, does great stuff with his facial acting and stuff. So I'm proud to see him do more range because obviously we just saw him as mean old Santa. In this movie, he's a he's a ghost that just wants to like get to the afterlife. He wants to move on. And the movie, they're trying to figure out how to get him there. And it's a fine watch. Seriously. Like my big issue is just like I said, I wish we got to hear him talk. I want to see more and hear David Harper because he's so damn good. I it's predictable. I would say it's very predictable. I never really cared for David Harper's backstory. I cared about Anthony Mackie's background story more than the ghost ones. And the villains are very E.T. governmental cliche. And the main villain lady is just not threatening at all. She's... It's, it's a family movie, so like I'm not gonna like critique it really hard because I mean I watched it and I, f I found it enjoyable. It's two hours long, could have been maybe 30 minutes shorter honestly, but like I thought it was fine. Seriously, I don't think this movie's trash. I do not think it's a classic. I just think it's really enjoyable for what it is on Netflix. I'm gonna give We Have a Ghost a C+. But for real, Christopher Landon, can we please get Happy Death Day 3? Listen, I know the second one flopped. I know a lot of people did not go see that movie. Netflix, you make crap all the time. Give him a couple million dollars. Let him finish out the trilogy. I would love to see that. That's what I would love to see, honestly. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoy this movie review. I'll see you guys next one. Bye-bye, everyone.